Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Anime Sundays, the show where we talk about anime on Sundays. And today we will be having Sukuna run the villain gauntlet. All right, getting right into it. It looks like this picture of Sukuna is the anime version. Now, of course, in Gauntlets, you know we try to pick the strongest form of the characters being displayed. Um, again, I haven't read the manga for pretty much any of these anime except for One Piece. I'll be doing the anime version, and then I'll be kind of dwindling into what I believe is an accurate representation of the manga versions as well. All right, round one, we have Muzan. Now, if this is anime only, I'm definitely giving this to Sukuna. Yes, Muzan is fast and durability through the roof, but Sukuna kind of outclasses him in almost every aspect of that basic skill. I mean, he's faster, he's stronger, he's arguably just as more durable, if not more. Yeah, I'm not sure if in the manga, the only way to really kill Muzan is with the sunlight, but if even that's the case, Sukuna would have no problem fighting him until the sun comes up. All right, moving on, we have Makima from Chainsaw Man. Now, again, the really only knowledge I have about Makima's true power is kind of what we learned from the death battle fight when it was her against Gojo. You know, she has the power to control people, power to kind of deter any attacks to any of those kind of puppets to the people that she kind of has in her little livestock or whatever. You know, with death battle, they talked about it being a really close match with Gojo, but Gojo kind of took her with domain expansion. So again, I, I kind of feel like if you're going to say that Gojo would take the W, you could definitely say Sukuna would as well, even if this was anime only. Again, you know, domain expansion, way stronger, way faster. Uh, I know they had Makima speed a little bit above Gojo's, but I mean, Gojo could teleport. So I'm not really sure how they did that either. We know she kind of has some type of telekinesis abilities that would, you know, kind of maybe give Sukuna a little bit of run for his money. But we know that his healing is even better than Gojo's. So really, if Gojo slapping Makima, I have Sukuna slapping as well. All right, round three, we have Shigaraki. I've seen a lot of cats saying that the Awful One Shigaraki claps. I mean, again, in the anime, because I don't know anything about the manga, Awful One Shigaraki, a lot of the heroes were putting their all, you know, Endeavor, hitting them with everything he got. Eyes were just trying to barely keep him from using his abilities so that they could just physically keep up with Shigaraki. All those great things. In the anime though, I don't believe he would be a lot more powerful than Sukuna. Speed wise, I think Sukuna has it. Maybe raw muscle power strength, you can give a little edge to Shigaraki, but it really would come down to if you think his decay is decaying things to the core that won't be able to generate. Now, I'm not really sure because we haven't seen Shigaraki's decay do anything to anybody that has an ability like that in my hero in the anime so far. So I still believe that Sukuna should still be able to heal from any decay that he may be, that may kind of happen while they're fighting. And once he kind of learns that's what's going on, I do feel like there's a lot of abilities that Sukuna has that Shigaraki would not necessarily be able to just get over on, right? Especially the, the, the dismantles, the cleaves coming at him as fast as they would be. And then of course, again, domain expansion, I don't really think Shigaraki has uh, an answer for that either. Dude, we know that he defeated Gojo, sorry for the slight spoiler. And even now, Yuta and Nijidori still can't put this man in the ground. I would still take Sukuna over Shigaraki. All right, round four. Now we get into Blackbeard. Now, a lot of you know how I feel about Blackbeard. I definitely think he's a, one of the overrated characters in One Piece. Yes, he's powerful, quick, quick fruit, the dark, dark fruit. But one of Blackbeard's greatest weaknesses is his speed and the fact that he often just kind of takes attack acts first willingly just because he thinks he can kind of absorb them or kind of brush them off of course we've seen him you know tank some of law's awakening attacks law used shock villy or shock willy to kind of attack him kind of from the inside but yet he still ate that we see the magnitude of the hockey we see the magnitude of the quake quake fruit yes it would be hard for sakuna to move as freely with the quake quake fruit the dark dark fruit especially because we know it the scale is a lot larger with an attack like that than what a domain expansion of things that, that would be doing but again Blackbeard is still not the most uh, hockey efficient character. He doesn't have the observation. So if enough mantles and cleaves, and especially at the rate in which he, we've seen Sukuna using against Maharaga, I do think Blackbeard could easily get caught slipping here and get clapped. Even in his fight against Law, he did use the assistance of his crew quite often just to kind of stay in the game. 
And you know, it's not like Sukuna has a devil fruit. So, you know, pulling him in with the darkness fruit, it could be a, a double-edged sword, especially if Sukuna is healing and using all types of attack, fire, this, that, and the third. I do think manga version of Sukuna could definitely take this. And honestly, I think anime version as well could probably take this too. All right, next up we have Edo Madara. Now, this is where I do believe that the gauntlet stops. I don't really care how you look at it. And Edo Madara, I feel like it's just too much for Sukuna. He pretty much is a better version of Sukuna, right? We know that Naruto scales a little bit faster, so Madara is definitely faster. Madara definitely has more raw power with the Rinnegan and the Sharingan. Majestic Flame Destroyer, Meteors, what have you, Perfect Sasanos. Stuff that the Cleave and Mantle would need heavy, heavy repetition to get through. And then even with the domain expansion, Sukuna's domain expansion isn't the necessary of the ceiling type. We know it's more of a bombardment of cleave and dismantle, pretty much just tearing your opponent apart, attacking from all sides. But again, if you're not sealing Madara, it's kind of clipped. And even with the expert ninjas of the Ninja War, nobody can really seal him. He had to turn back alive in order for Naruto and Sasuke to even box him. And then we all know Madara only lost to Black Zetsu because of plot. So I do definitely think it stops there. And then after Madara, you have Aizen. I don't really see Sukuna doing anything to Aizen, especially if he can't get past Madara. So yeah, that's my take on the gauntlet, y'all. I know some of y'all think that Shigaraki and Blackbeard clap, especially if it's anime-only version, but I do think we have to give a credit to intelligence of Sukuna, especially because anime Sukuna's intelligence is the same as manga Sukuna's intelligence. So to say that he couldn't really get around some of Blackbeard's hacks as fast and strong as he is and with the hacks of his own, I kind of disagree. Now, Shigaraki, if you can argue that his decay is destroying a person who can even regenerate. Maybe you can have that as well. But we know that Shigaraki, even when Endeavor used one of his kind of final moves on Shigaraki, he did feel the effect of that greatly. It wasn't like he just brushed that off. Any attack or quirk that Shigaraki was having trouble with, I don't see Sukuna really having trouble with. Appreciate y'all tuning in and we'll see y'all next Sunday.